Hello, my name is Cecilia Donna. I'm a member of the Greater Byway Temple of Albion. We're located at 402 Austin Avenue, Michigan, Albion, Michigan. Zip code is 49224. Our pastor is Kevin Williams Jr. Please join us on our website, which is gbwtalbion.org and see what a wonderful job we're doing right now here in this community. Please join us and thank God. Amen.
We're praying that you will protect us. In the name. We're praying that you will heal our bodies. In the name. We're praying that you will heal our land. Hallelujah. And we're praying that you bless your people. Yes, God. That believe in you. Hallelujah. On everything else. Yes, God. Touch on today, Lord. Let this word uplift. Let this word help yes. and encourage yes, God. your children yes. on today that we may leave this place. Yeah. That we may leave Hallelujah. this viewing yes, God. differently from when we walked in here. Let my flesh be submissive. Yes, God. And use me as a ready vessel to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. The prayer and ask this in Jesus' name. Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can be seated Amen. in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Today's sermon title is They Still Hating on Me? Amen. All right. Come on now. Y'all not saying nothing. Okay. Today's sermon title is They Still Hating on Me. We look at this book, Job, and according to the Bible scholars that have studied this Bible through and through, the historical artifacts of the Bible, this is said to be the oldest book in the Bible. And it's also said that this book was written in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that the Job story is something we may watch on Disney Plus or something we may watch on television that is fictional. But Ezekiel refers to Job as a real person. Also, James, Jesus' earthly brother, mentioned him concerning his patience. This book does something that a lot of Christians doesn't know is this. Mm -hmm. When we are in the world, we assume that the troubles we go through is because we are in the world. Mm -hmm. And we're not following God's word. So we think that it's okay for the punishment or the trials that we face. Yeah. But when we get saved and come to church and doing everything that we're taught to do, Christians sometimes think that we have no troubles right. in front of us. Mm -hmm. what, this book's in, what this book does to that type of thought process is it kills it. In fact, Job was called a perfect man that feared God. And he still had to go through suffering. Job still had to go through pain. He didn't do nothing wrong. He wasn't on the down low. Y'all quiet here on today. He wasn't popping pills. He wasn't drinking lean. He wasn't drinking Hennessy. Yeah. I ain't talking to myself. Amen. He wasn't, you know how y'all do. Hey, I'm going to call brothers. You, yeah. man, call me back. I'm at the casino. Huh? Amen. He wasn't at the casino. Okay. He was living a holy and righteous life. Yeah. Which means that his life did not determine the trials and tribulations that he was about to face. Also, this was given by God, gave Satan permission uh -huh. to test Job. Because Job was such of a high standard of God's people uh -huh. that the devil had to get permission to mess with Job. Right. See, when you want a God's favorite people, yeah. 
The devil got to get permission Amen. just to mess with you. Right. Y'all not saying nothing to y'all today. Yeah. Job, he lost everything. Yeah, he did. And everything was taken from Job. In fact, everybody gave up on Job. Have you ever been in that situation when you lost everything? And everybody gave up on you. Yeah. Nobody won't be bothered. You calling them. You texting them. You hitting them up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Right? And you see that green light, which means they own it right now. Right. <laughs> and they still won't respond to you. Right. And you just bought a McDonald's and KFC last week. Uh -huh. But now you going through a little trials and tribulations. Yes, Lord. And you need some help. They know where to be found. Right. This is Job, y'all. In fact, we're seeing here that the people that were instructing Job to give up on God at the end of this story was at his house. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible say. That's what the Bible say. Let's, let's, let's look here again where it says that here in verse 11, then they came therefore unto him all his brethren, all his sisters, and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him and what? In his house. So what did that mean? That mean that they were privy to see where God had brought them from. I feel like preaching on today. The title was brought because of 2020 have been a very tough year for many of us. But God is saying, in 2021, I'm going to bless you Amen. to the point that your haters going to believe in me. Come. The same very people yeah. that used to hate on you, yeah. Come on, the same people that talked about you, <laughs> the same very people that put you down uh -huh. is going to celebrate Hallelujah. what Jesus is doing in your life. Yeah. Do I have a witness in the house on today? We see that the Bible says at the end of all the Job had lost out of everything of the trials and tribulation he was faced with at the end of that trial and tribulation, in fact, the Bible says, even Job's wife told him to curse God and die. Yeah. All those people, all my brothers, all my sisters, and all my acquaintance, the Bible says, will come to his house. And not only did they come to his house to see you got a new car, to see you have a new house. Not only did they come to see what God had done, they sold into Job's life. Yeah. Hold on, y'all, 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 y'all must have didn't, y'all must have didn't receive it. <laughs> let, 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 let me read verse eleven again. Uh -huh. Then they came there to him, all his brethren all his sisters and all that they had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him and every man also gave him a piece of money so not only will God feed you uh -huh. in the presence of your enemies uh -huh. 
He going to make your enemy so in your life. Yeah. They still hating on me. Huh. You, you still got enough energy to hate on what God is doing in my life. Mm -hmm. After we done went through this pandemic. Yeah. After we done lost our loved ones, our family, our friends. They done shut down the whole country. They got riots going on, attacking and ambushing the capital. Yeah. We serving on the racist government. Yeah. And you got the nerve after we done went through all of that to hate on me. Yeah. Well, I got a message for you. Watch what God is about to do in my life. Yeah. You thought in 2018, 2019, that God was blessing me? Yeah. You thought that that was something? Watch how I come out this pandemic. Watch how God begin to bless me as I come out of this pandemic. Watch the God's blessings. You just see me coming. You might see me glowing. You might see some things in me that you've never seen before. Because I read here in this book as we're coming to the end of the book of Job, uh -huh. the Bible says that he received double for his trouble. Yeah. And then I begin to see triplets. Hey. Pastor Williams, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. Job received double for his trouble. But then I look at me and my wife's life. <laughs> and I look at the cries that we had before this pandemic hit. And both of them cars was riding on fumes. And not only did God bless Pastor Williams and this good looking first lady with one vehicle. He blessed us with two vehicles. And then I woke up in 2021 and he blessed us with a third vehicle. So the haters got to stop and say, what is this brother doing? I know he ain't selling drugs. He looked too good for that. But I see him coming to church. Coming up in Bible study. He's doing recorders at his house. What God does he serve? That he can get three cars. We get an 11 more radius. I have to tell them. I serve. About Donald Trump and congratulations to Joe Biden. I don't care about him either. I serve the King of Kings. I serve the Lord of Lords. I serve the Chief Shepherd. Y'all not saying that no today. Let the pain on me. God is about to bless me. Put your hands together. Church, yeah. he say, Get ready, children. Yeah. I know I put you through pain. That's just what it said here in the Bible. It says that they bemoan him and yeah. comfort him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. God ain't crazy, and he ain't see now. But what God is saying, I know what I put you through. Put you through that pandemic. I know I shake the world down, but guess what, y'all? A blessing is on its way. You just be patient because patience is one of the fruits of the spirit. We gotta be patient on God. That blessing is coming, and that blessing is impregnated. Pastor Wiz, what you saying? Because he told you. Gonna bless you twice as much before you went through this. So if they was hating on what you had before, they gonna have to hate on twice as much of the blessing that you got coming your way. So if you was asking God to bless me with joy, guess what? That blessing 
going to be double. So you ain't going to have no regular joy. When, you, when they see you walking, coming in the door, you're going to have a smile on your face. You're going to have good spirit in your body. They say, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with him? I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I know that everything going to be all right. I know because the God I serve, they think that the Joe Biden administration is in charge. I got another reason for them. Make 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most of us. Thank you, Lord. In here. Has. Has more time. Of blessings. Coming to us. Than what we already face. Pastor Williams, what is you saying? Well, the Bible says. That the Lord. And what's God's name? Jesus is going to bless you and your later years is going to be better than your beginning years. Pastor Williams, what is you saying? You don't got to eat ramen noodles no more. That's what I'm saying. Unless you want to eat them. Pastor Williams, what is you saying? You ain't got to eat hot dogs no more. Pastor Williams, what is you saying? You ain't got fried no baloney. Your later years is going to be better right. than the years right. of your beginning. Hallelujah. So if they was hating on you before, yeah. wait till they see Hallelujah. you put out in that new car. You got that new car that whip of you. Wait till they see you walking in the door. They say, oh my. She got on new clothes. Hey, look at that brother. I ain't saw him wear that suit before. They gonna look at you, girl. And look at your stilettos. And say, there must be red bottles. Because I'm dipped in the blood of Jesus Christ. They can't touch the anointing. They can't hurt the anointing. Because even though the weapon was formed, it won't prosper. Put your hands together. Give up. Offering, but we ain't going up in a look 
liquor store. Give me the devil. All God's money. Because everything I got, I got it from God. Everything I got, I got it from God. These good looks, I got it from God. This good wife, I got it from God. This church we sit in, I got it from God. Those three new cars, one, two, three, I got it from God. That house on Maple Street, and I'm sitting over there, and me and my wife, we look to the left, we look to the right, we look to the front, we look to the back, but when we look around, we the only black folks that's living over there. So you ain't got to put no stipulation on what God can do. Because you're looking at a miracle in disguise as Pastor Williams. Everything I got, everything I got, everything I got, 